Hello, my name is Tom McKay. I'm a software engineer on the Quay development team. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you Quay version 3.0's new configuration UI. So before we jump into the tool itself, um, you should prepare yourself ahead of time with some information. I'm going to be using SSL, so I have a certain key. Uh, I have set up a Postgres database. Uh, you could choose MySQL if you desired. I also have a Redis container running. Um, and if you're using storage, S3 or other, uh, you should bring that storage information. So Quay itself, the container image may be run in uh, several modes. One of them is the registry itself. Uh, and today we're going to run it, though, is the config tool. And so on the arguments to the container run, uh, we're going to specify config, and then we're going to choose a password to protect the config tool in the browser. Uh, and I'm just choosing very secure password. And then when we're prompted to log in, the username will always be Quay config. And again, the password I chose password will enter that. So let's see how that works. So I visited the site. You see the username and password field. I'm going to put Quay config as the username and password. I'm going to sign in. So here I have two choices. I can start a new registry setup or I can modify an existing configuration. Uh, the existing configuration is the you upload the tar gzipped file that's created at the end of this uh, pass through of the tool. So we'll come back to that. So we're going to start a new registry setup. Let me just copy my host name here because I'll need it. So you can't see the drop down in the recording, but the choices are MySQL or Postgres. I choose Postgres. I put in my host name. I'm running uh, just a Postgres container uh, on the same system that I'm running the config tool. Username, password, database name. Okay, so database is being initialized now with the tables necessary to run the registry. Okay, and then the next required step is to pick a, uh, a super user. So I typically use admin, and we'll just put in my email address and password. I use change me and then create super user. Okay, so those two steps um, will happen only for the first time, so when your database is empty, okay? When we upload, again, when we show later, when we upload an existing config file, typically um, you'll just land at this page with values filled in. So uh, I am using certs, so I am going to include my my root CA cert here that I've used to sign all my certs for Claire and um, other containers. I won't go through all the configuration parts. Um, you should make sure the server host name is correct. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to let Quay handle the TLS. So let me upload the certs I've created, the cert and the key. Okay. Um, other things, the Redis server, again, I'm just running a container locally on its default port without a password. Storage, here's where you would need um, to specify, for example, um, your S3 credentials. I am just going to use local storage. I am going to set up the security scanner, and that's going to be running OK. So for, in order for Quay and Claire to, um, to communicate, we do need to set up a key uh, between them. So that's just a step here. Generate key. Uh, this key ID here will be used in the Claire config file. Okay. 
and I'll just download the the key. Okay, so you should note that someplace. Uh, I'm not going to use the app registry, other aspects. I'm just using internal authentic authentication, and I do want to enable build support for later demos. And we can do GitHub triggers, big bit buckets, stuff like that. I'm just going to leave those blank right now. Okay, and then I will save configuration changes. Checks everything. And then I can download my configuration. And that is the tool. Okay. So there, you notice there's no, um, there's no back button really in this uh, sort of wizard steps. So to start over, simply reload the page. It has my credentials already, so I'm not going to be prompted again on the page. Here I can choose to modify an existing configuration. And I will select it in my downloads and upload configuration. And you can see it brought everything in. There's my cert again, um, server host name, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Here I just did a quick example of what's inside the the tar file that's created, okay? Uh, the config.yaml, and then the two keys I provided are downloaded, as well as the extra cert I provided, okay? And if we look at the config.yaml, oops. my download to go. But in any case, you can look inside for all the uh, config settings. And for more information, you go to the Red Hat's documentation uh, on access.redhat.com. And I think that's it. Thank you very much.